Greetings, Jim DeFeedy. Uh, my name is Jackson Rip Holmes, and I am having trouble getting out a story which is of profound importance. Uh, so I'm, I'm reaching out to you. Uh, if you want a reference for me, uh, call Joe Garcia. I think you know him fairly well, and he'll vouch for me. Um, so what is the story that uh, no one will publish? Uh, and yet I think is profoundly important to our entire county, specifically Coral Gables, uh, where I live. Um, the story is that Citizens United uh, also corrupts local governments. Uh, let me repeat the title line, if I may. Citizens United also corrupts local government elections. Uh, how so? Uh, did you know this? Uh, in Coral Gables, probably in the county, um, because of Citizens United uh, allowing uh, developers unlimited, unlimited donations to political action committees, uh, developers in Coral Gables now donate more than four times as much money as all Coral Gables voters combined. And this has been happening over several elections. We know Citizens United, uh, shall we say, opened Pandora's box in 2011. It took me several years to appreciate how it all works. Uh, and partly that's because there's been no reporting on it. Um, it is, is that phenomenal or what? Uh, I've, I've taken it to the Miami Herald. I, I should have been reaching out to you long ago. Uh, Elliot Rodriguez, uh, probably will tell you that he has moderated uh, Coral Gables candidate debates uh, in which, thanks to him, I, I do fairly well. Um, uh, but let me then get to the heart of the story, which I think needs to be out. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, humble enough to beg you for your help. I've sent it to the Pulitzer Prize people saying, give me a Pulitzer Prize since no one will publish this earth, this earth shaking news. If, if we look at the uh, recent vote by the Miami-Dade County Commission to uh, violate, shall we say, the urban development boundary to allow, uh, to allow developers to uh, uh, invade the God's Everglades. Wasn't that a bit shocking to you? Um, how did it happen? Well, assuming that uh, Coral Gables uh, uh, l let me use the expression, uh, Citizens United allows developers to buy Coral Gables City Hall in the sense that they, they spend more, they donate more than four times as much money to the candidate races. And in that sense, the, the democratic process, the voters only contribute one fifth. There, there's one fifth democracy in Coral Gables, four fifths developerocracy. Let's assume that that same uh, donation pattern holds in the county races. Now we know why the urban development boundary has been breached. And of course, that's another opening of Pandora's box. Uh, we're in, uh, the developerocracy enabled by Citizens United is invading God's Everglades. Now this is of profound importance. I can't get uh, people that I know, the Miami Herald, they're, they're so poor, they, they can't uh, uh, anger the developers who spend money with the Miami Herald. Um, so have I said enough? Uh, is brevity uh, a virtue here? Uh, my phone number, 305-338-5000. I've asked uh, This Week with South Florida to invite me on to explain this. Uh, so I'm asking you, please invite me on Facing South Florida. By the way, we have an election on April 11th. I am a candidate, but it, it's it's not to advance my candidacy, it's to advance the truth, which is being, to some extent, suppressed. So it is suppressed by the Miami Hero. Uh, others who, who can say what their motives are, uh, please call me or email me, 305-338-5000.